very cold and everything, mm-hmm. so he, he's going to go up. But the demand gone up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so that's why it went up a little bit. Also, the Keystone uh, Pipeline. But uh, overall, the future's rocking. You should start seeing the, those, the prices go down some more a little bit. Um, we are the, the number one producing oil and natural gas in the world right now. Not because of Obama, because they're deep. In the government lands or the public sector, there haven't been any drilling. In fact, it's been a sixty-seven, uh, a six percent decrease in drilling. Well, in the private sector, where Obama has no control over, there's been a sixty-seven percent increase, and um, and uh, we are actually producing a tremendous amount of oil and natural gas. A lot of people. What the people are calling fracking today was really Boston Chalk years ago. We drill down and then you go across the crevices to pick up the oil through the veins. That's all, that was called Boston Chalk years ago. Now it's called fracking. So basically back in uh, 1997, 98, I was working for this gentleman by the name of H. Brian Pump. I was, I was one of the original sellers of fracking. At mm-hmm. that time, that's what he did. So I knew about it, and I can prove that. But the thing is, it's safe, and 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 same thing with the pipeline. It's a lot safer than rail or trucking, and uh, it, it's better to have a, a, a coalition uh, of uh, Canada, U.S., and uh, Mexico, and compete in, in working together as a, a, a co- as a coalition similar to OPEC, uh, and we compete, and we can, and we can actually outsell out the new OPEC and sell it to around the world, because we have more oil and natural gas between the three countries than anyone else in the world, and we can dictate our own prices and our own methods. And that way, you don't have to worry about Europe being blackmailed by Russia or by OPEC. You get it? Follow me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So there's a lot of economic news we could do, but we need a president that's able to understand what's going on and not listen to the environment the records. But the other thing that went on this week is net neutrality, which is very important to know. We lost a lot of freedom with that net neutrality. 325 pages that nobody saw that the FCC approved. The regulations, and the former commission said this is a, a very dangerous situation. Not only are we going to be losing our freedom of speech in, in, in that, we also going to get increased, going to make it to a utility, which means that the prices are going to be upgraded and the cost more. You're going to see taxes put on the, on, your, on it, and it's going to go from there. All right. Okay. So I appreciate your time, Joe. I really do. Alright, so that's the story there. And uh, by the way, Joe Kaufman is in CPAC going through door to, going through through all the radio and TV stations to reach the side to run. That's the way to go. All right. So Joe Kaufman is seriously in CPAC going right now. We don't. I don't know if he's fully got his full mind on on it or he's just keeping up with his reputation. But uh, it, it's a, it's a good way to get the name out if you get interviewed by every radio station and every. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time, Joe Gellner. Okay. Anytime. And hopefully we'll, uh, everything uh, turns out pretty good. Looks like the House stopped the Senate from keeping in on uh, the amnesty. And we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it next week. Thank you so much for your time, Joe Gellner. Not a problem. Have a great evening. You too. Bye-bye.